Hey guys, it's me, the number one feminist in the entire world, and today we're going to be discussing the Michael Jordan effect. Since the Michael Jordan effect doesn't have an exact definition, I'll give it my own. The Michael Jordan effect is when a person, not a character, becomes the mascot for an entire organization based off of simply how marketable they are. In 1984, the year that Michael Jordan was drafted, within one year of him being in the NBA, he already had a shoe deal. The only reason I mention this is because I want to compare him to the top two stars of the league at the time, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. Before Michael Jordan even stepped foot onto an NBA court, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird were bringing in tons of new viewers for the NBA at the time. You may ask, new viewers? The, the NBA wasn't just immediately popular? No, it actually took around 20-ish years for the NBA to start being as marketable as it is right now. Around the Larry Bird and Magic Johnson era, all of the top basketball players got their own version of a specific shoe by Converse. That was the shoe deal. And the biggest deal that happened in the NBA at the time was a 25-year, $25 million contract extension by the Lakers for Magic Johnson. Then Michael Jordan came around. I obviously told you about the whole shoe deal, which was huge at the time. A shoe deal with Nike that eventually blew up and became Jordan's as we know today. And also, Jordan would eventually become the highest paid basketball player in the league. You may ask, how much was he paid? Yeah, I know. I mean, to be fair, paying Michael Jordan this amount of money makes sense. He's the best basketball player of all time. But these numbers wouldn't even be reached again until 2013. 10 years after the man retired. Michael Jordan provided the NBA with something that they did not have before, a mascot. When you think of the word NBA, Michael Jordan comes to mind. It comes to mind to people who have never played basketball before. It comes to mind for everybody who has. And I think there is somebody in the WNBA that is going to help roll the ball forward for them in the foreseeable future. Now I know that this is going to be a very cold take, but the answer is Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is the star of her own show. If you saw the past couple of college basketball finals, most recently with this college basketball finals with Iowa and I believe South Carolina, they ended up getting higher ratings and more views than the men's college basketball finals. And also the WNBA on a per game basis has rised in total viewership. You may ask, what games am I specifically talking about? Well, it would be none other than Caitlin Clark's first five not to mention the news coverage that she's been getting. I've been seeing posts about Caitlin Clark on multiple social media platforms when usually I don't hear a single thing about the WNBA at all. Not to mention all the sponsorships and advertisements like the one that she had on Gatorade. Uh, I forgot exactly when that released. All in all, Caitlin Clark has an allure and has brought a lot of fans to the WNBA that wouldn't have been there before if she wasn't drafted. And the main reason I say all of that is because the NBA has been putting money into the WNBA for years now, and usually it's been causing them to lose money, mainly because there hasn't been much advertisement other than just like, oh, WNBA is happening today. But now with Caitlin Clark, there is finally a Michael Jordan for the WNBA. And in my opinion, that is going to lead their entire association to be more profitable. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way. If you agree, leave a comment down below. Have you seen a WNBA game? Have you seen one of Caitlin Clark's games? Let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button. As of the recording of this video, we are very close to 2000, so every single subscription is appreciated. I'm gonna get out your hair. I hope you stay awesome, stay positive, stay safe, stay healthy, and goodbye.